Okay, thanks for coming back to my channel this week. And this week on My Own Drum, we're going to review another Lego set. Yup. And the set we're going to review is the Lego Friends Apartments. Here we go. We'll start with checking out the box here. Here is the front of the box. It shows you the apartments and all the little details. And then at the corner, we've got the characters and the items that they come with. This side of the box gives you some nice little photos of each of the characters. The top of the box shows all the friends together, just the core group of friends. And then on this side, they're like, okay, Janice, you're gonna be the actual size model, okay? And then here's the back of the box. Over on this side, it's giving you the dimensions. And then it's giving you some, some scenes that you can set up. The instruction booklet for this set was really cool. The set comes with 2,048 pieces, so of course the book is going to be massive. Not only does it have the instructions in here, but there's also some introductory pages as well. That gives you some nice little backstory and some information on friends. Let you know where some of the inspiration came from for the designs and what they included in the apartment. They, <laughs> from the designer, the first line, I wasn't that familiar with the show when I started working on the model. Why wouldn't they get somebody who's a fan? I mean, don't get me wrong, he did a great job. But now I'm curious what we would have got if a fan of the show designed this. But again, not complaining, it is a great set. But I just think it's funny, the designer had, like, really wasn't that familiar with the show. It goes into the minifigures. I really enjoy this because as you can tell, there's even Easter eggs in the minifigures. And so they give you the episodes that the minifigures are based off of. Then we get into the instructions. Also, within the instructions though, once you finish this build, this is the first build they have you do, there's a little blurb about what this is and what it represents in the show, which is really cool. Like I said, there are a ton of Easter eggs in here. So the fact that they give you them, not all of them, they give you the main ones. There's still a bunch that they do not mention, but I think that that's a really cool side note for the bill. Here's a little blurb about the canoe. It's the canoe the guys get stuck with after their apartment is robbed of all of the furniture. There's a sticker on the TV. It's Joey is Dr. Drake Ramore. Very cool. For the actual build, yep, that's the last thing you build. There's 286 pages. 286 pages. So the first mini fake we're gonna start with is Ross. And you can see he's wearing his leather pants. In the book, it says that this Ross is based off of the episode, the one with all the resolutions. Ross shows off his leather pants. And if you remember, he used some baby powder to help get his pants back up. So I, I like that they included that for Ross for his extra detail. He's also got dual faces, so there's the other side of his face that's a little worried. I mean, I'd be worried too if I was stuck in some leather pants. Next we have Ross's sister, Monica Geller, and she's based off of the episode, the one with all the candy. Monica makes candy for the neighbors. So she's got her apron on, she's got a whisk. I believe that's a new utensil for Lego. I believe, fairly new anyway. I haven't seen the whisk in a lot of sets. This is the first time I have, I've gotten a whisk. So I, I think that's a fairly new utensil. Monica also has two faces. And the other side is a little annoyed. She's just a little bit annoyed with all the antics while she's trying to cook or keep her, her place clean or whatever it is. She's just a little bit annoyed. I will say, I like her happy face though. I feel like for the most part, she is a pretty happy person. The back of her outfit, I do like her outfit. 
Here we have best friend to Monica, sometimes girlfriend to Ross. We have Rachel Green. And she is based off of the episode, the one where the monkey gets away. Rachel loses a monkey. It's when she loses Marcel. So she comes with this little coffee cup, a, a little to-go coffee cup, which I think is super cute. This is another first for me. I don't have any of these little to-go coffee cups. You can see the little divot here where you sip it. And here she's got her plaid skirt on with her long sleeved white shirt. There's the back and Rachel's extra face. Kind of, I don't know what kind of face that is. It's kind of smirky. Yeah, that's kind of a smirky face. I like it. Both of her faces are kind of happy. One's just really happy and one's kind of smirky. Here we have the one and only Phoebe Buffet. She comes with a paintbrush because she's a very creative individual. This specific outfit is based off of the one where Phoebe runs, where her and Rachel are living together and Rachel goes on runs every day. So Phoebe's like, hey, me too. But she runs like a maniac and Rachel's embarrassed. And at the end, they both run like maniacs and it's free and fun. She's got her long blonde hair. Oh, and she has a scared face. Well, I don't know if it's scared, but it, it could be depicted as scared. She has this same face in the Central Perk set and it's her singing face because she comes with a guitar and the microphone stand in Central Perk. It could be a singing face, it could be a screaming face. I say it's a screaming face because of other pieces in the set. I will show you later. So we're gonna keep it on her happy face though. Cause she runs like freedom and she's a creative soul. Next up we have Chinandler Bong. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, Mrs. Chinandler Bong. Ah. Actually, it's Chandler Bing. This is Chandler Bing. <laughs> this specific Chandler is based off of the episode called The One with the Cat. The description is where Chandler doesn't turn and slide. So this is the episode where the guys get robbed. They've got that giant entertainment center and Joey is explaining to Chandler how to get into his room and he's got to turn and slide. He's got a ticket. It doesn't explicitly say in the Lego set why he has a ticket. We have a couple theories. One, he always has tickets to a sporting event. It could also be his ticket to Yemen. Guess I'm going to Yemen. <laughs> He's trying to get away from Janice and let her down nicely. And the way he lets her down nicely is saying he's leaving for a business trip and he's gotta buy a ticket to Yemen. I like the Yemen explanation for the ticket, so we're gonna go with that. But this Chandler is, the outfit at least, is based off of the episode where the guys get robbed. There's Chandler's other face. Just very happy, laughing guy. I love this face. It is such a great little Lego face, and it is perfect for Chandler. So I, I really do enjoy his LOL face, because that's what he's doing. He's LOLing right now. Next up, we've got Joey Tribbiani, Chandler's best friend and roommate, lives across the hall from Monica and Rachel. And if you notice, his outfit is my absolute favorite out of all of them. This Joey is from the one where no one is ready. Ross has this thing he's got to get to and everybody's procrastinating on getting ready and Joey and Chandler are fighting over the chair. And eventually Joey walks in wearing all of Chandler's clothes. Hey, look, I'm Chandler. Could I be wearing any more clothes? And then he does these great lunges in the clothes. It's phenomenal. Here's the back of his clothes. It's just black and white, but the front, you could see all these layers. And he's got that. He definitely has a smirky face or that's the how you doing face. If we pop his hat off and take the scarf off, you can really see like there's multiple ties. You could tell he's wearing the gym shorts here and there's pants coming out underneath of the gym shorts. It's so great. This is my favorite outfit. There's Joey's other face. It's just, it's a nice side smile. I prefer the how you doing face because that is just Joey all day. I love it. This is my favorite minifig out of the whole set. Oh my God. We have Janice. In the Central Perk set, we got Gunther as an extra figure. 
and the apartment set, we get Janice. This Janice is based off of the one with Ross's library book. Janice invites herself to Monica and Chandler's wedding. And that's what her little outfit's based off of with her little purse. You can see she's got this wonderful laughing face. <laughs> Here's her other face, and you can almost hear it, can't you? Oh my God. Yep, she's great. This build comes in three sections. This is clearly the smallest section of the build. So this is the hallway that connects the two apartments. So back this way would be the steps going down. That little empty slot on each side is how it connects. You basically just set it on there. And notice the cheesecake. That's where they get this delicious cheesecake and there's some in the hallway and the scene. Look at that. Chandler and Rachel eating the cheesecake off the floor. And if you remember from the episode, Joey walks up, pulls the eating utensil out of his coat pocket and starts eating along with them. Classic Joey. Now let's get into the apartments. We're gonna start with Joey and Chandler's apartment. We're gonna go ahead and just pop out this canoe here which again is from the episode where they get robbed and they've got everything taken from them, but man, do they have this canoe left over. And so we've got the paddles here. And who is this? We've got the chick and the duck, adorable. However, this is definitely a chicken. This is a dove or a, a bird of some type. This is not a duck. I guess Lego does not make a duck. So they gave us this little bird. It's still very cute. Just like the Central Perk build, they build this as a set. So over on each side, you've got the lights. If you didn't want it to look like it was a set, like on scene, you can pop these off. It's not a big deal. Whoa. And then you could just reconnect that little block there. You would have edge or you could just get another flat piece and put it there. These bricks here are for the canoe to snap onto so it doesn't slide around, but we're gonna take those out just so we can see the apartment better. Don't you feel like you're looking into their apartment? How crazy is that? Let's turn it this way. You can see that we've got the doors here that open. It goes to Joey and Chandler's bedroom. Earlier in the book, I mentioned on TV here, we've got Dr. Drake Ramore, which is really cool. And they do have some of the posters on the wall here from the show as well. There's one in the back corner by who? Let's pat the dog. He's on little wheels and everything. And for the wheels, they just use Lego roller skates. How cool is that though? One of my favorite details about their apartment, really. We've got the speakers here on the sides of the TV. We've got a, like a CD tower over here in the corner. The windows back there with different lighting. And back here, you can see there's some sports items hanging up. I believe that goes to the bathroom. And on this side of the apartment, we've got the kitchen, the foosball table, the milk. There's a dartboard over here. And then the boxer with the kangaroo poster is back there. Up here, there's a Manhattan picture. On the back of the door, it says went to, and then there's a little coffee cup. They do give you extra stickers that you can use there. I picked the coffee cup because I have Central Perk, so I thought that was nice. But the extra stickers that they give you are why, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The I'm sorry is from when Joey kisses Chandler's girlfriend. And the why I think is from when Ross is with Emily and he's not allowed to see Rachel anymore and everybody's really upset about it. And so I think that is written on the dry erase board during that episode. You can also see there's a little like cork board over here. Got a number for a pizza place. We've got an Emily picture, a couple Polaroids, a call me. And that just snaps right here. Oop, 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 right, right, ah! It just, it just snaps right, right here. No, that's not where it was, was it? It was right, oh God. It was like this. There we go. We have a book, this book over here on the table. It actually clips into this. 
There's the inside of the book. This is my favorite part of their apartment, is that the chairs recline together. So when you move one, they both go back. That is so cool. Another cool thing is you can pop this out and just have it as a little standalone scene. Here's a top view of the entire layout of the apartment. You can better see what's on the coffee tables and stuff. So we've got a pizza box back here. Of course, Joey loves his pizza. We've got a newspaper over here. You can see a little bit more of just how the whole layout comes together. The outer portions of the build are not bad as well. Oh, it's because I didn't connect Pat the dog. And then over here, you've got this little space right here. It just sets on top of that to connect. And then on Monica and Rachel's side, there's a little black base like that and you just slide it together. So there's the doorway. You can go into the hall, see the cheesecake on the floor. And here we have Monica and Rachel's apartment, the iconic friend's apartment where most of our time is spent during the show in the episodes. This beam here in the friend's apartment is a fun Easter egg. It's not always in the episodes. Uh, early on, it was part of the apartment scene, like always. It's the beam that Ross bumped his head on when Monica's tossing Ben in the air. Monica bang, he, you know, she bumps Ben's head on the beam. So the beam has been clearly in some episodes, but not all of them. It has been removed and sometimes makes a reappearance. When a certain director uh, is directing the episode, then the beam comes back in and it's kind of like his own inside joke and Easter egg. Uh, James Burroughs would be the one, the director that would include the beam. And so occasionally when you're watching Friends, sometimes there is the beam and sometimes there isn't. As I'm going through the apartment and the details, I am going to remove this part of the beam just to make it a little easier to see. And it just, it just pops off. It'll go right back on, but I am gonna remove it just to make it a little bit easier to see inside of the apartment. So on this side of the apartment, we've got the door and that iconic door hanger there, the little peephole, border, whatever you call that. I love it. Of course they had to include that. We've got this little sailing ship picture behind the door, the countertop here. There's a pizza box on it. Underneath here, there's just some stuff on a shelf. And let's just pop those off so we can get a better view of the kitchen. We've got some pans hanging up on the wall. Her shelf here with different spices. We've got, I love this, this little orange juice container. Let's get a better look at that. It's printed. That was not a sticker, it's a printed piece. And I think it's like orange juice. I love it. We got a little flower back here around the sink. And if you turn, we've got the refrigerator with a little succulent or something on top, the cupboards. When I was putting together the chairs, I was very confused. Monica is a very particular person. She likes everything neat, tidy. These chairs are all different. And I was like, wait, were they really like that in the show? I never noticed. All of Monica's chairs in the show are completely different from one another. I have watched Friends a bajillion times. I've never noticed that. And if I did notice it, it definitely wasn't information I retained. So I was surprised building this, that all of the chairs were so different from one another. Now in the back here, it might be a little tricky to see. We've got this closet. And if you open the closet, you can see it is full of junk. Monica is a very neat and tidy person and it's because she just piles all the junk in a closet. And so that's great right there. Also, this door opens over here for the bathroom. There is no bathroom, but that's the door for the bathroom. Moving over to this side, you've got the balcony. And here's the window on this side over here that they would climb through 
to get to the balcony. There's a desk and a chair back here with a lamp on it. Over here in the corner, you've got the comedy and the drama faces, the happy and the sad, and then the door to Monica's bedroom. Going even further over here, let's turn this and get some better light on it. You can see the, the French toy poster that she had. Now, when I put the sticker on, I was like, that is not what the poster looked like. That is not it. I don't know what that is. That's exactly what the poster looked like. I mean, they Legoed it up, but you can see that desk just popped off. It's fine, it pops right back in. And we've got the TV that's got the football game on it. And the book specifically mentions when Monica is cooking Thanksgiving dinner and everybody's watching the game. The book also mentions this little green ottoman back here and how Monica is very particular about where it goes. I guess that's where it goes. This door right here is to Rachel's bedroom. You can see there's no bedroom though. And then her little living room area here does remove. So we can get a better look at that. This is their little living room set where everyone is always hanging out. A little candle and a little decoration over here, a chair with a decorative pillow, a lamp over here, some decorative pillows here. And it's cool how these pillows go on too. Let me just pop one off. There's a clear hook piece, like I call them, they're like action pieces. You can make your minifigures look like they're floating through the air or whatever, but they stuck it in a brick with a hole on it. And then you just pop this little pillow on there. On the little end table over here, there's like a to-do note or a to-do list. The rug is very cool, a Lego newspaper. And yeah, that just goes right in there. It's kind of tricky sometimes to get it set just right. And something just fell. I felt it. Oh, that little table. Oh, no. Pop. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Everything is falling off. Oh, my. God. Well, just to show you, the reason why things are popping off so easily is most of them are only connected by a single stud. And that is done on purpose. So, they do pop off easily. So, if you want to rearrange stuff, you can. But it also makes it for when you're moving it around, the stuff pops off easily. If you don't put it in like perfectly square, it's hard to get it to set back down. OMG, it's falling apart. So, there's the apartment. So, looking at the apartment from the top down, you can see a little bit easier stuff that's on the counter and where stuff is placed. You can see the window I was talking about that you can get onto the balcony is right here. And now you can really see how different all these chairs are. Again, with the hallway, you've got the piece right here. You've got the piece that's hiding behind the, uh, the set design here, but it just slides right there. Open the door and there's the hallway for Monica's side. And you know what I didn't get a chance to show you yet? We'll go now. Let's turn it around to this side. There is a full balcony. We'll give you a top view and then I'll drop it down, but there is a full balcony here. On the balcony, you have the stick for ugly naked guy. And you have the cat that attacks Ross when he's trying to smooch Rachel. I will also be using that cat as smelly cat. Can't you tell that that is one smelly cat? I think it is. Central Perk didn't come with a smelly cat. It came with a Phoebe and a guitar, but no smelly cat. Looking in from the window, you could see the little desk with the little lamp that I mentioned. That bottle's on the coffee table in the living room. Now, this set also came with a couple extras that don't really have permanent spots in the apartments, but they're super fun Easter eggs. Turkey. That is the turkey that Monica wore on her head one Thanksgiving when she did the little dance and it had a little hat on it and some glasses. It was a funny turkey, but it doesn't really have a permanent spot. So that's the first item that they included. No permanent spot. And the next two items both belong to Phoebe. Phoebe's apartment is not represented. So I think it's cool that they gave her two items that represent just her. They gave Phoebe her dollhouse, which catches on fire, gets really bummed out about it. So that's Phoebe's beautiful, colorful dollhouse. And then we also have Gladys. 
That's her sculpted picture that she absolutely thought was fantastic and everybody else was like, mm, it's kind of creepy. What I really like about this minifig is her face is kind of dull, you know? It's not, here, let me show you a regular minifig face. See how bright, like this is black. This is gray. Can you tell? Yeah, it's just a doll because it's a painting. I think that's really cool that they did that. And how we have good old Gladys attached in here. We've got this little button down here. That's how she looks. And then you just snap her onto that. And you can kind of turn her at an angle. But what a beautiful picture. love this set it is so cute and look I just I it really is fun to just pop out the little scene here and you know in order to get everybody to stand I did take out the end tables but that's okay it is so much fun it is such a fun little addition to my Lego collection it's great with central perk yep and that's all I have for you for this week if you enjoyed this week's video go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Sunday or Monday. And until next week, just keep on marching to the beat of your own drum. Peace.